Thousands of servicemen and women are here in North Texas. Army and Air Force typically play a football game against each other every year, but not here. And that will end tomorrow. That's where the game is being played, and it's getting a lot of attention. J.D. Miles, just outside of Globe Life Field in Arlington, the home of baseball's Texas Rangers. Well, the Lockheed Martin Commander's Classic will be the first college football game played in what was built, as we all know, primarily to be a baseball stadium. Tonight, it also hosted another sport for the very first time. The men's and women's boxing teams from Air Force and Army squared off in an 11-bout competition. This is the prelude to tomorrow's football game at Globe Life Field. It will be only the fourth time in 55 games between the two academies that it will be played on a neutral field for what's known as the Commander's Classic. Football field goal posts now temporarily stand in the infield and outfield of the new ballpark. It's the first year of a two-year contract to host the rivalry. Earlier tonight, a free pep rally featured the Army and Air Force bands to help get fans revved up for Saturday. Former Dallas Cowboy Chad Hennings, who is an Air Force Academy graduate, worked to bring the game here. If you've never experienced a service academy game, I would highly recommend you know, fans to come experience just to watch the cadets march onto the field. Mm -hmm. Just with that, that, that pomp, that circumstance, that pageantry, it's, it makes you proud to be an American. And that's what this game is all about. Ultimately, with these two teams, it's about so much more than football, right? It gives us the opportunity to celebrate our military, to create the pageantry, and to give back to a lot of these folks for all they've given to our country. The title sponsor for the Commander's Classic is Fort Worth-based Lockheed Martin, which likely helps secure the rights to host this game. If you can't make it out here at 10.30 a.m. for the early kickoff, you can tune in and watch it right here on CBS 11. In Arlington, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.